Hello YouTubers, today we're gonna do a quick oil change on this 2010 F-150. There you go, 5.4. And we're gonna start by opening the oil cap. And then we'll go down under and uh, start by removing the oil filter first. And this will help it ventilate, you know, vent out and the uh, flow of the oil will come out faster. Let me show you down here. Oh look, a bolt. Oops, somebody must have left without a bolt with the vehicle. Nah, that was the next one. Okay, <laughs> there's where the filter is. If you go through the bottom, it's easier to get it through the top. I'm just gonna show you this little drain that they've got here. That's a little drain. When you loosen that filter, it should drain through there. It always drips through the uh, back end. Let me show you how that looks. There's that little drain. It should go down and come out through there. It's right under the oil filter. So let's loosen that up. Okay, guys. I'm going to go through the top and I'm trying not to hit the camera. It's right in front of me. But I want you to see, have a good look. I guess I'll go around you guys. Come on. Okay. Should be loose enough. Gets caught back there on that radiator hose. Okay. Get my hand out of here. I think I can loosen it up with my hand. And make sure I got the pound on there and I'm not dripping all over the floor. Like always, I missed it. That always happens, man. I always miss it. It's all over the floor. And I told you it leaks through the back first before it uh, leaks up here. I think the only time I can get it to drip through this, this little drip is when you actually take the filter up. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And I'm gonna go through the bottom and get it. And yes, I have a mess down here. I'll show you on a little bit since I know y'all want to see. So y'all can laugh at me. Let me take my watch off too. Okay, you want to dip your finger in the new oil and just lubricate this gasket. That way you'll get a real good seal. Just put a little oil on there. It could probably be used oil, but I always try to use the new one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to get this filter in there without hitting you guys. There it is. There it is. And just do it hand tight. You don't have to go crazy with the wrench because then when you take it off next time, you're gonna have help. <clears throat> Sorry, with the camera. <clears throat> there we go. And that's good enough. Just get it tight with your hand. Here's that uh, tub I'm using. And here's the mess I made. See? My aim ain't good. Let me clean that mess first before I uh, drain it so I can clean the other mess I'm going to probably make. Oh man, I'm already getting high on this gas. Okay. okay. Let's see if we get it right this time. Okay guys, this is a weird one. It's a 16 millimeter. That's an odd number. I tried a 15 and it wouldn't go in. Wow. Maybe a 15, maybe I just didn't get it in the right. Okay, I bet y'all get this one right. I bet y'all won't make a mess. Let's break this baby loose. Okay, now I think I can get it. Yeah, okay, let's get this ready and see what happens here. Awesome, I got it in there, guys. 
I'll show you so you don't think I'm BSing you guys. Look, doing. Okay. Okay, while that drains, I'm gonna fish that uh, with the magnet. I'm gonna fish that uh, drain plug and I see it right there. Ta -da. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna inspect this drain plug. Show you what you're looking for. Make sure this washer is on there and it looks good. And it does look very good on this one. They can be plastic, aluminum, and they can be black, white, different colors, depending on your vehicle. That's good. So we're good on there. Then you wanna make sure you clean here, make sure there's no debris that's gonna prevent you from getting a good seal. <clears throat> and then you proceed to put it in. <clears throat> and this is good enough. If you wanna wait till it finishes dripping completely, Pitch yourself a tent and spend the night out here and in the morning it'll probably stop dripping. Just kidding guys, it does take a while though. So, once it's dripping like that, you're good. Okay, there, it's tight. Just kind of snug it up and that's it. And when you turn it on, you're gonna look under here and make sure it's not leaking. If it's leaking, tighten it up some more. So clean this very good once you put the bolt back in there. That way you can see if you're gonna have any leaks. And something I forgot to mention, when you take this filter out, make sure this gasket came out with it. Cause sometimes this gasket will stay stuck on the vehicle. And if you don't pay attention, you put the other filter with the gasket it has over this gasket and you're gonna leak so make sure this gasket comes out with a filter when you take the old filter off and it did on here so we're good all right now we're ready to go up top side and i thought it was six quarts but the guy told me it takes seven so let's see what it takes okay i put six quarts in it i'm gonna turn it on for a few seconds and then take the reading and you don't have to do this part. I've seen a lot of people, they don't do it, but I just like to get that oil circulating into the oil filter. That way I get, I feel I get a more accurate reading. About five seconds or so. And my lighting sucks. I need to get some new lights or not new light bulbs. Okay, don't don't take the first reading. Wipe it clean. And this is the one that counts. Here we go. Drum roll. And uh, I'm blind as a bat, so I'm gonna have to look at it in the light. Okay, I came back now. Dang it, that dude was right. Still needs another quart. Okay, let's check it again. We got seven quarts in there. see what we get okay I'll be right back okay we're good it does take seven quarts we're right oh, I can't focus we're right here just a little bit below those crosses so we're good we're real good right there so it takes seven quarts, and let me show y'all what y'all can do. It's kind of tacky, but no one's gonna see it really. You can do this number. I put on there seven quarts, and it's 5W20. And we use mobile one, that's what the customer wanted, so we use mobile one. Uh, use your preference, I guess, unless it actually uh, specifies a, a specific uh, oil. Use that oil. Okay, while the car was running, <clears throat> we came down here and looked at that plug and it's dry there's no leaking so we're good down here okay now we're gonna reset the oil light turn the key on don't turn the vehicle on just turn it on to where all those lights come on some vehicles will have a reset button here but this one doesn't so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this uh button here click it till we get to this let me zoom in we're gonna click on it till we get to Hold reset for setup menu, okay? Once you get to that, hold it down. 
boom, you get the oil light. Now to get it to 100%, hold down here and it'll start counting down. 100%, there you go. There you go, oil life, 100%. Put the key on and see if it worked. Well, yeah, and that's how you do it. And you know what? We can probably check to see if it went through. Let's see. I'm gonna click this button. Okay, boom. Hold for reset. Yeah, it's showing 100% oil life. So we're good. Thanks for watching. And like always, I really appreciate you and God bless you.